Hello, this is video number five in our tutorial series on the Soulman MIDI foot controller. In this video, we're going to talk about the Soulman's third and final mode, panel mode. Of the Soulman's three modes, which are scene mode, setless mode, and panel mode, panel is the most powerful and flexible. In panel mode, we can give each foot switch a highly customized function. That can be anything from simply sending a single program change message to change a scene to sending out multiple MIDI macro messages with a single press of a foot switch. In these videos, I'm going to explore some of the different case scenarios and how we would go about setting up the Soul Man to do exactly what we want it to do. If you would like instructions on a particular function that we have not tackled in these videos, feel free to email us at uh, contact at sourceaudio.net and request a video topic. Okay, let's get started. The first panel I want to show you is pretty basic, but it is very useful. This is a panel that I might use if I have a particular song that uses four different presets. What I've done is assign each of the four foot switches to engage or disengage a specific preset that I've created. So starting from the left, uh, there's my dry sound. First effect is a, uh, a univibe sound. And I'm able to either just uh, turn that effect off, or I can go directly to the next effect. That is an oil can sound. Over here, I've got this uh, rhythm slapback sound. Finally, over here, a nice chorus delay sound. Yeah, so let me go over to the Soul Man editor and show you how I set this whole thing up. So this is my Soul Man editor. And most of the work that I do in panels mode happens down here. Um, if you see these four columns right here, they represent each of the four foot switches. And that's where a lot of my work is going to happen. Over here, you can see this is where all of my different panels live. Uh, right now we're working with this Savoy Truffle panel, which, like I said before, each foot switch engages a particular preset. Now those presets are all up here. Um, I've created these ahead of time. I've named them. Uh, I did all that work in scenes mode. But now in panel mode, I am just recalling them. So let's just start with foot switch number one to the far left. Now up here, foot switch name. For each of these panels, I can give my foot switch a little abbreviated name. You know, I chose VIB because this is a univibe sound, but I can punch in whatever I want, expression or, or, or uh, delay if I've got a delay. But like I said, VIB for univibe. Return. Okay, the next field is switch action. I use this to select how the switch is going to function. Now there are four choices here. Latching toggles between on and off states each time the foot switch is pressed. Uh, momentary outputs an on message when the foot switch is pressed, then an off message when it is released. One shot mode sends the on message only. One shot mode is useful when you want to send only single messages with the foot switch. And finally, any switches designated as radio will be included in a radio group where pressing one foot switch deactivates another. In this way, only one of the grouped switches is active at any given time. Next here is MIDI channel, which is set to 1. All the 1 series pedals are set to MIDI channel 1 by default, so they still are. And on data 0, this is the important one. This is where we pick our PC number um, and basically our preset. So like I mentioned, all my presets are up here. And for this particular foot switch, I want it to engage 
my Univibe sound. So you can see Univibe is PC number three. So I can just type in any PC number I want here. Uh, and they're associated with whichever preset I've created. But like I said, I want to send PC number three, which turns on my Univibe. Okay, on data one, that's grayed out because it doesn't apply here. And off data, this is another important one. So the zero represents PC number zero, which is assigned to my bypass signal. And bypass is just a preset I've created that turns all the pedals off. So I turned off all the pedals, hit save in the hub, and created that bypass preset. So by default, as you see up here, the default state of this switch is off. So if I haven't hit the switch, it will engage PC number zero, which bypasses all the pedals. All of my foot switches, the off data is zero. So they're all bypassed unless you turn them on. And you can see each one, oil can, that is PC number 11. Over here is slapback, which is PC number four. And over here is chorus, which is PC number 12. So that's how I created this particular scenario. In the next video, I'm going to talk about assigning particular parameters or functions to each of the four foot switches.